All this work that we're doing, brothers, for this ministry, eventually is going to pay off. You better believe it, man. It's going to pay off like you'll never believe. Okay? And by the way, we're the highest value male on this planet. The men of the Lord. The men of this truth. The hopeful elect of Yahweh Barashim Shai. The highest value male there is. All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Kakwadash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of GMS, who rule well, teach well, being great examples for his younger brothers. And peace and blessings, salutations to the hopeful lake out there, pushing his word in truth and in sincerity across the four winds in the name of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. Pushing to get up out of here. Shalom on to the hopeful leg, the believers, the listeners whom have came back to the obedience of the scriptures through faith in Yahweh by Shemal Shah. And I ran across this uh, precept in the book of Sarap, the 27th chapter, this morning as I was reading. And, um, you know, found a nugget. You know, sometimes you read, you know, a book of Sarap or Proverbs, you know, and it'll be speaking, you know, of, of prophecy. <laughs> you know, it'll drop a little nugget. You know, all of us full of nuggets and gems, you know, but some things just kind of hit. You be like, man, <laughs> you know, so I'm reading the book of um, Sirach 27 and 28. And it reads, mockery and reproach are from the proud. OK, and who is the proud? Esau Edom. OK, and the man and the way that this man is ruling the earth. All right. He's pretty much mocking the most high, you know, because here it is, the most high. Do Yahweh Shai and the Alahayim, you know, establish every all creation from the beginning and said it was good. You know, you're going to take Hebrew word um, to wild. You know, it goes into pleasurable, pleasurable. You know, it goes into, you know, something that's, uh, uh, you know, suited. You know, matter of fact, let's just go go into it. You know, let's get it. All right, because from the beginning, okay, and I'll just read 10. All right, Genesis 1 and 10, it says, and the Alahayim, because it says God, but it goes into the Alahayim, all right, which are the, the angels, all right, headed by Yahweh Shai in the beginning. It says, and the Alahayim called the dry land earth, and the gathering together the waters called the seas, and the Alahayim saw that it was good. Okay, so let's get this word. Uh, let's get this word good. Okay, because this devil, you know, he's 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 <laughs> just to prove that we're out of him, But this devil is in the all-out attack against the creation. You know, he's anti-life, man. All right, so you see the Hebrew word alahayim. All right, you go into the Hebrew. Okay, and it says. Or rulers, judges, divine ones, angels, gods. Okay? So it was the, the Yahweh Shai and the angels. Okay, those first fruit angels creating everything. Now, as they created, they kept making, you know, a comment. Okay? And saying what? It was good. Alright, would you go in that Hebrew word just to walk? And it says good, pleasant, agreeable. Okay, happy, prosperous, okay, of good understanding, a good kind, all right, welfare, prosperity, benefit. You see, everything was made with a particular purpose, with a particular benefit, okay, and it was supposed to afford life in the earth, and it's supposed to be for man's pleasure, okay, but Esau Edom has turned these things into pure wickedness, man. You know, from the, from from the people to the food, okay, to the air, okay, the family. This man has turned everything into complete wickedness, man. The herbs, okay. So, this man, the way he rules the earth, he's a proud mocker. All right. So you read Sirach twenty-seven and twenty-eight. It says mockery and reproach are from the proud, okay, but vengeance. As a lion shall lie in wait for him. And Yahweh Shai is that lion that's lying in wait with that vengeance, man. All right, for what he's done to, 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 to Israel and what he's doing to the earth, man. Okay? 
And let's prove you how Shai is coming with that vengeance. And we're going to prove that he's that lion, man. All right, so let's get this Isaiah. All right, 63. And it's going to go into who is the proud. Isaiah 63 and 1, it says, Who is that they coming from Edom with dyed garments of Basra? And that's the proud. Okay, this is the proud mocker Esau Edom. Okay. This that is glorious in his apparel, traveling in the greatness of his strength. I that speak in righteousness, mighty to save, and that's Yahweh Shah. All right, and this, this is symbolic of him coming from a great slaughter of Edom. Okay, is that lying in wait for the proud mocker? Okay, it says, Wherefore art thou red in thy apparel and thy garments like him that treaded the wine fat? Okay, and this is a, a symbolic talk of a slaughter. Okay, because you will come back from ancient warfare, you know, that close, you know, comeback, that hand to hand, you know, sword to sword comeback, you know, and you will come back bloody, man. Okay, from the from the blood of your your your, your enemy. Okay. So this symbolic for a great slaughter. And it said verse three says, I have tried the wine press alone. And of the people there was none with me, for I will tread them in my anger and trample them in my fury, and their blood shall be sprinkled upon my garments, and I will stain all my raiment for the day of vengeance. Okay? The day of vengeance is in my heart, and the year of my redeem is come. Okay? So the day of the vengeance is in Yahweh Shai's mind. You know? And you know, when you see those lions hunt, they're patient hunters, man. You know, they're crouching, waiting for their perfect opportunity, man. And Yahweh Shah is in the spiritual realm, crouching, okay, like a furious lion, man. Okay? And we're almost at that time of the perfect opportunity of vengeance, man. Okay? So let's go here to Romans. Just want to link a few things up in the spirit. Okay, Romans 12. All right, it's the book of Romans, chapter 12, verse 19. It says, Dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves, but rather go give place unto wrath. All right, but rather give place unto wrath. And see, this is how we know, you know, that we're not supposed to be militant against this man. Take up arms. Okay, that's not our lot. All right, our lot is to teach. Okay, and there's going to come a time where the Lord going to look for standard. Okay, so we can be preserved, you know, for salvation. But the ultimate vengeance, the ultimate takeover of this kingdom is going to come through Yahweh Shai, man. Okay? They, they're lying to Judah. Okay? Would you get that? It said, Dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves, but rather give place unto wrath. For it is written, Vengeance is mine. All right? I will repay, said the Lord. Okay? So the Lord is going to avenge. All right? Yahweh Shai is going to avenge this proud mocker. And it's going to be as a lion. Okay, aggressive, dominant. Okay, a lion dominates. Okay, Revelation 5 and 5, and it says, And one of the elders said unto me, Weep not. Behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, have prevailed to open the book to loose the seven seals thereof. So it describes Yahweh Shai as the lion of the tribe of Judah. Okay, and he's that lion of vengeance, man. Okay, let's read this in the NLT. It says, But one of the tw 24 elders said, Stop weeping. Look, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the heir of David's throne, has won the victory. He is worthy to open the scroll and its seven seals. You know, and that's why, you know, the scripture say the joy that was before him, he endured the cross. All right, he conquered sin, so we will have grace. Okay, to showcase our faith. And also he would, you know, have the green light to come and conquer the earth in righteousness, man. Okay, and be that uh uh that that that, that um a vengeance, all right, that uh that line of vengeance, man. Okay, so let's get this. Alright, real quick. You know, this is um Isaiah 31 and 4. It said, For thus have the Lord spoken unto me, like as the lion and the young lion roaring on his prey when a multitude of shepherds called forth against him, 
he will not be afraid of their voice nor abase himself for the noise of them okay because you know as a shepherd man you know dealing with a lion uh, you know king david you know was a special man for him to be able to slew a lion you know as a young as a as a, as a extremely young boy you know and as a shepherd, you know, you would try to sell wolf tickets, man. You would try to make a lot of noise to scare that lion. But certain lions, man, that, you know, they're, they're, they're young, they're aggressive, they're, they're hungry, you know, they're, they're angry, you know. And there's nothing, they're not going to adhere to that noise. And the Esau's military is just going to be like, you know, a uh, uh, noise in the background, man. Okay? The militaries of the earth are just going to be like, noise in the background they're going to be helpless all right against this young lion your house shot man okay and it says for thus have the lord spaken unto me like as the lion and the young lion roaring on his prey when a multitude of shepherds called forth against him he would not be afraid of their voice nor abase himself for the noise of noise of them so shall the lord of hosts come down to fight for mount zion and for the hill thereof, man, and Mount Zion is the elect, okay, the memorial, you see, whom the Lord predestined to be delivered, the Lord predestined to defend, okay, and then the, 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 the lion of vengeance, Yahweh Shai is going to come and fight, okay, on behalf of the elect, man, in the name of his father, in the honor of his father, man, verse 5, it says, his birds flying, those chariots, man. So will the Lord of hosts defend Jerusalem. Defending also he will deliver it. And passing over, he will preserve it. And you go into this word passing over. Okay. It's the same word to put shock. Okay. It's going to the Passover, man. Alright. Following manner, Passover. Okay. To become, it says to leap, to pass over. Okay, <laughs> so we pray, all right, that, that we're delivered and this judgment passes over us, man. That's why the Passover is a solemn spiritual assembly, man. <laughs> you know, for believers, like this, that's a heavy time. Okay, that's a heavy time, this Passover, man. Lord will, we endure, you know, and we're passed over. But that's the point, you know, I just wanted to touch on, touch in on that, you know, put a few precept together you know from what i was reading this morning all right so till next time i pray you edify i say shalom kwam yashallah baba ba soon